Okay. Okay. Now let us start the lecture. Uh, yesterday we were only discussing some basics, and I have given you an introduction of on machine design. Today we are specifically going into this first module, means our module one. Okay, and it is about some general things about machine design. Okay, so these are the things that you are going to learn in your uh, in this machine design chapter. First, you will learn about the principles of electrical machine design. Okay, in which you will see what is meant by design, uh, uh, what are the specifications of machines, uh, uh, some uh, general aspects like what uh, what, how, what is the construction, what is the ventilation and cooling. All those general aspects you will see uh, as the first part. Then the second part, uh, every machine is, is having a magnetic circuit associated with it. Okay, every circuit, every machine. If you take the basic. Uh, Fund, the fundamental principles are based on magnetism, and that is why you will be learning the magnetic circuit uh, calculation also in this uh, in this particular first module, so that you can apply this understanding uh, in the coming modules. Okay, you will apply the magnetic circuit uh, understanding in the coming uh, modules, like on DC transform or on the transformer design, on DC machine design, on induction machine and, uh, design, and all. So. Those basic, whatever basic you need, that you will be learning uh, in this uh, first module. Okay. So let us get into uh, the the uh, this understanding of what is meant by design. We have already dis discussed about the fact that engineering is an art. Why? Because if you are thinking about bricks, uh, 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 bricks, uh, you can say uh, the bricks that you have, and such such bricks, if you take uh, together. And you can construct a home. So that uh, that uh, that involves creative design and art. That is why engineering is uh, an art. And design is also is what the physical realization of the theoretical concepts means. We have a plan about our home, how it how it should look like, where you you have to place your windows, how much ventilation it should have, where, whether you should have uh, enough light or not. These all planning you will have in mind, and based on that, create uh, you on based on your own creativity, and based on that you will construct a home from what from the bricks, right? Some uh, bricks which are uh, quite nothing to something beautiful like a home. So that is a physical realization of our theoretical concepts or our, or our ideas. What ideas we have in mind, we make uh, we uh, make it practical by uh, basically realizing it based on what based on design. That is the meaning of design. And when it comes to engineering design, you can design several things, right? Even uh, writing a book or write, uh, writing your uh, project thesis in the coming semester is a design part. Like you will uh, design how your uh, thesis should look like. You can you will start with introduction and you will end up with conclusion. Putting uh, uh, all the all the work done in a uh, in a nice flow that if somebody is reading, he will get everything in a good manner. So. This uh, involve so the design is everywhere, or whether it's a movie making, still design is the right. An editor sits there and design the whole thing. So th those all things are the. But particularly when it comes to engineering design, engineering is basically for humanity, right? Engineering is basically for humanity, and when uh, you are making something, uh, then the uh, we, uh, we should we, sh we will have some criteria based on that so basically we are using the our scientific knowledge whatever scientific knowledge we have so that we are using and uh, with our minds uh, we what we will do we will uh, use the scientific knowledge to through it will go through a creative design process to make the machines right this machines will perform what this machines will perform a particular task right for my, for a particular task we design a machine and that is based on our scientific knowledge we use our scientific knowledge so that uh, our design is uh, uh, much cheaper and it is uh, performing the task very nicely and it will be there for a long time right so such things are there like uh, uh, if you have a computer hard drive uh, before days we were using what we were or uh, nowadays also we are using our mechanical uh, hard drive you can say but now it is ch getting changed with ssd right so such changes are happening based on our scientific knowledge and our creative design so that is engineering design it is uh, applying the knowledge of science to make machines which perform a particular task okay so that is our uh, that is our concern and when it comes to the uh, engineering design 
our major considerations are the three things one is the one is cost another one is durability and another one is what the compliance with the performance criteria what are meant by this so as uh, as i am saying uh, about cost let us say that uh, uh, you you have you now nowadays uh, in amazon and all right in amazon and all you start comparing you know, suppose that you want to purchase a mobile you want to purchase a mobile and you want to ca- uh, compare right even such options are given in uh, uh, this websites like you will compare uh, compare mobile a with mobile b and c right and you will see whether it's a camera is uh, uh, like uh, how many pixels it can capture or uh whether it is having uh, two or three number of cameras right uh, whether it, it is having a uh, take a wide shot or a uh, narrow shot all all those things based on criteria you will see and may, you will see camera you will see uh, the battery also and based on all those things and based on your requirement you will decide which kind of a phone you uh, you have to buy like you are going to watch your online class on a mobile uh, on a mobile device then you might be looking for a wider uh, screen screen Uh, or is it only if it is a businessman and he is only using it for let us say messaging or uh, a similar application then uh, we might not be looking for that right we, we might be looking only for a smaller device which he can handle very nicely so based on all this consideration he finds uh, phone a b and c okay all all of them are having all this uh, specification then definitely he will go for what he will go for the lesser costly device so that is the cost consideration in design uh, we uh, how cost will increase the cost is directly related to the materials that we are using materials and the manufacturing process materials and the manufacturing process okay Um, let us say that uh, you have a device which uh, which uh, whose finishing is not that good like the material that you use we have compromised on on that uh, but instead it is working quite properly right then what then we can reduce the cost right so when you increase the quality of the material like material quality if you increase then what then definitely uh, it it will be durable right it it will durable means whether it will be there for more time it will be durable but at the same time cost will increase in engineering design let us say that you make a mobile phone uh, of or, or you make a device or you make a machine an induction machine uh, available at your home let us say for 5000 rupees and uh, or, or even lesser than that right so uh, the same machine uh, if you are making at uh, let me say uh, 15000 rupees with better performance or with with better performance people will go for what this 5000 rupees machine only why because that much requirement only is there so this consideration this thing is already always there so it is impossible to uh, and that is cost cost about cost it is uh, that is what is meant by that and durability means how much uh, how many how much long it is going to work okay how much long it is going to work that is meant by durability okay uh, like if you have a dc machine and induction machine uh i will say induction machine will be uh, will work for longer time because there are uh, the it and it will not require much much maintenance also because uh, in a dc machine you have pressures and uh, and all and there is commutator as well so with time due to the spark involved and all it it is going to deteriorate and you have to change the pressures but when it come to induction models it is there is no issue of uh, as such like that so it will work for more time right so that is about durability that is another that is another main concern durability and that also again will uh, depend on what uh, the quality of materials that we use and the manufacturing process that uh, that is undertaken to make the machine so we have to make a compromise because between what between cost and uh, durability okay we have to make a compromise between cost and durability that is why i am saying here what it is impossible to design a machine it is impossible to design a machine which is cheap and durable at the same time okay when uh, it is be- becoming cheaper then definitely there will be deterioration in what durability right because we have to compromise in the material quality so that is a, these are the ma- major concerns okay whenever you are designing something or whenever you are designing something or uh, which is having some engineering value then first concern is cost only okay whether it is uh, in terms of uh, it should have uh, the it, the performance also performance also should be the but at the same time it should be what cost effective also if it is not done if it is not done like you are going to make something uh, make some product in future okay being part of an entrepreneur but 
if you are not meeting this two things then you cannot even enter into the market okay and it will not be having any engineering value also so these uh, cost is a primary concern then it should be durable and the uh, last one but, but uh, not not the least what it should it should be uh, able to perform whatever task it has to it has to perform so these are the three concerns major consideration when it comes to design okay so now uh, let us uh, see uh, some of the factors or let us see uh, how uh, in machine, what is meant by a machine okay basically it is an electrical machine right so electrical machine uh, means you will have a ma machine something inside this and you will have uh, an input here right so uh, in, it can be a input or output let uh, let me say that this is the electrical part okay electrical uh, supplies or supply or load you can say it can be electrical supply or load then another part here same word the mechanical source or load okay it can be the two ways with uh, the, suppose that i am giving electrical input here okay uh, what, what which case i am giving electrical input here okay i am considering this case electrical input is uh, what we are giving electrical energy inside and we are taking uh, what mechanical energy here then what kind of an electrical machine it is anybody parvati parvati hello sir ah uh, yeah so if i am giving electrical input into an electrical machine and i am taking mechanical output which kind of machine it is motor it is a motor right if it is a reverse case then it uh, what it will become it will become a generator right so that uh, this is uh, that, that uh, whether it is motor or generator uh, maybe even uh, if you take a dc machine the same machine if, when you go to electrical laboratory you might have use the same machine as a generator and as a motor also right so if it is on it is based on what uh, where you are applying your uh, mechanical source or load okay basically all machines will give uh let let me say mechanical output okay mechanical output or electrical output so mechanical output or electrical output you will get so this electromechanical energy conversion okay a what a machine does is that there uh, there happens an electromechanical energy conversion that is what is happening okay that is what is happening inside a machine and to make that happen we have a magnetic field to make that happen we have a magnetic field okay so that is the, the uh, that uh, if you take a machine uh, it will have an input as well as an output input and output can be either electrical or mechanical and inside the machine we have electromechanical energy conversion and that is happening in a magnetic medium you can say or in a magnetic field so that is what is happening in every machine whether it's a, it's a transformer a dc machine or a, a or an ac machine everywhere this is what is happening okay and in transformer there is a difference in transformer we are not converting what we don't have an electromechanical energy conversion instead we are we are having a transference of energy in electrical terms only right a, 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 the input also is electrical energy output also is electrical energy but we uh, in in between we have a magnetic uh, uh, medium so that we can transfer energy in uh, like by varying what by varying voltage and voltage and current right so that is what happening in the transformer and base, uh, this is quite interesting like uh, in a gen if we take a general definition of machine in the general definition of machine it should have a moving part okay the gen uh, the machine should have what it should have a moving part so transformer really does not qualify to be a machine even though some textbooks will call it as what stationary machines right some te textbook will call it as uh, stationary machine but really transformer does not qualify as a machine it is a device it's an electrical device you can say right but still we study uh, study it along with machines because uh, 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 the principles are quite what same the fundamental principles are what faraday's law of electromagnetic induction or mutual induction and also it, the principles are quite same that is why we study it along with the machines okay so this uh, but uh, even though it uh, it is so but still transformer really does not qualify as a machine okay and it, i think it is interesting so that is about the design factors and in design
in design if you see this mechanical force okay i am considering i am uh, 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 not considering transformer here this mechanical force it can be produced in two ways okay or this uh, you can produce in two ways one is electrostatic and another one is electromagnetic it means the magnetic part so if you take the electrostatic field uh, then you, you are talking about a dielectric medium okay we are talking about a dielectric medium but the energy density if you start calculating the energy density uh, then maximum energy density will come to come up to 40 joules per meter cube but when uh, in electromagnetic means we, it is about magnetism only right in magnetism uh, what is the maximum magnetic field that we can have inside any inside a transformer core or in a machine core what is the maximum magnetic field that we can have since you have already studied dc machine and transformers synchronous and induction machine i am asking you uh, anybody what is the maximum magnetic field density that we can have inside a machine ajman yes sir what is the maximum magnetic field that a machine can have yeah. sir adhi okay what is the unit of magnetic field density in density it is in tesla okay maximum ah, magnetic weber per meter square ah sir okay weber per meter square or tesla so maximum magnetic flux density will be what 1.6 tesla so that is uh, that, that is the maximum possible okay in a power transformer that uh, it, it can go up to that only so with that calculation if we calculate the energy density it will come to 25000 25000 watt uh, sorry not 25000 it is 1 mega joule per meter cube okay which is around 25000 times of this electric electric energy density okay if if we take the electric fields energy density and magnetic fields energy density then magnetic field energy density will be much more than the electric field energy density okay so uh, that is why most of our machines okay most of our machines are performing on what they are all working on electromagnetic principle and not on what this electrostatic principles okay that is why we are uh, every machine that we use it works only on electromagnetic principles okay that the reason is uh, about this energy density only when i say energy density is increasing in, a, in electrostatic energy density is lesser in electromagnetic case or in the magnetism we have our energy density higher energy density involves what like if you are making a, if you have to make a mechanical output if you are designing in terms of electrostatic terms then you the size of the machine will be much bigger compared to the uh, compared to what what you will design for an electromagnetic case so that is the difference siri let's go ah sorry so uh, now we will see parts of a machine and it is going to be the same uh, for every uh, what whichever kind of uh, machine you are seeing okay so if we take the parts of machine i have shown a machine here so basically it, it has several parts the outermost parts the outermost uh, uh, case you can say that that is what we call as what the frame okay that is what is called as the frame of a machine and inside that uh you will have stator and rotor right and a shaft also right a shaft is well, it's a mechanical part really frame and shaft right shaft is well, uh, on which your rotation is happening and for the rotation to happen you will have bearings right you will have bear, uh, bear, bear, bearings uh, uh, along with the shaft right so with the on the frame you will have your bearings and through that your frame will be rotating so that your mechanical losses there will be quite lesser so that is a general these all three parts constitute what these are the mechanical parts these are the mechanical parts that you have what frame bearings and shaft now if i take the electrical part in electrical electric circuit what will come you will have your winding right so windings basically uh, on uh, so i think you are able to see so here so he, uh, here you will have your rotor right and uh, on this side you will have your stator winding right on the surface of the rotor you will have your rotor windings and on this side you will what you will have your stator winding so the, those two things will come so i am just writing it down here this is what this is stator winding and uh, this here is what rotor winding 
okay so these two windings that is the, our electrical circuit okay that is uh, that constitute our ele- electric uh, circuit part then uh, another thing uh, that we have here is the magnetic part which will uh, which is like what what whatever your stator winding is there and on whatever your sta- rotor windings are there that will constitute like this okay we have a core uh, the the core part here right the core on uh, where your rotor winding is there and uh, inside this inside this uh, rotor windings we will have what the rotor core also right? or the rotor that uh, the rotor and the stator you can say they are the cores so that constitute our magnetic circuit you can say okay that constitute our magnetic circuit so that also i will what okay so here inside here uh, you will have your rotor core and here you will have what your stator core okay so that will constitute your magnetic circuit through which your magnetic field is happening and there is one more thing in the your magnetic circuit which is what in between the stator and rotor you will have a small air gap also right in between the stator and rotor you will have an air gap so that also we have to consider right so let me say here you will have an air gap okay so these are the major parts of a machine if you take any machine whether it's a it is dc ac or induction you will have these major parts okay and we can classify this into uh, different circuits okay so so the basic structure of a machine it will constitute it will constitute of different circuit the first and mo- most important one is what the magnetic circuit the first and most important one is the magnetic circuit magnetic circuit uh, consists of what it consists of the stator and rotor stator and rotor teeth and the rotor core means what it will constitute the stator rotor and really the uh, the air gap also i would say to say right stator rotor and air gap because that uh, through these uh, three parts is what your magnetic uh, flux is passing and magnetic circuit means what the path through which your magnetic circuit magnetic flux is flowing that is your magnetic circuit right the path the path where magnetic flux is flowing right and even it will constitute the yoke also means the even uh, the frame part also it will constitute so that is your magnetic circuit right now the second part is electric circuit second part is what the second part is electric circuit electric circuit consists of what the stator and rotor windings stator rotor windings means what the electrical conductors right the electrical conductors is uh, through which what it conveys electrical energy into or out from the machine so that is uh, and where your electromagnetic emf is generated right so in the stator and rotor windings here you will have emf and force also is developed on also on this electric circuit parts so that is about the electric circuit and winding uh, windings are formed from what this uh, uh, this uh, pa- uh, conductors on so that is electric circuit now the third part third part is the dielectric circuit okay that i did not mark because it is quite hard to mark dielectric circuit means your all of your windings windings are form uh, insulated right so that all insulation insulation uh, uh, is what constitute the dielectric circuit dielectric circuit and Uh, it is for isolating the one conductor from another and also from what winding from the core also right so if, uh, in in between the windings as well as from winding to core you will have insulation so that is how that constitute the dielectric circuit so basically it consists of insulation right and uh, it is uh, this insulating material uh, if you uh, uh, take there are different types in a transformer you use what oil impregnated paper insulator and it can be other polymeric insulators Uh, in a right so these all things can come as insulator that is another circuit the dielectric circuit now the fourth circuit the fourth circuit if you take that is what that is the thermal circuit okay we can take it as another circuit which is what thermal circuit so thermal circuit means uh, whenever your machine is running so definitely there is friction Uh, uh, in a rotational machine, and when when you have current flowing to the conductor, that also will cause heating. Uh, in a transformer, you don't have a moving part. Still, the the there is what the, the whenever your current is flowing to the conductor through through uh, through uh, because of that losses will happen, and it will come out as what heat only. So this heat can spoil your machine, mainly the insulation, mainly the insulating parts. So there, this thermal circuit will come, and 
it is about what is the mode and media for dissipation of heat okay this is about the mode and media for dissipation of heat dissipation of heat okay in a transformer you know that uh, oil acts as a medium for dissipating the heat from the inside winding to the outside okay even in motor uh, uh, normally it is air cooled that whatever you have seen like small air cooled uh, induction motors that you have at your home how homes uh, due to uh, with the air itself uh, what, there will not be any losses when you are uh, conducting the loading test on the your dc series motor in your lab or in ac motors you have poured water right into the uh, machine uh, when it is loaded for, for what purpose you have done that so that you are reducing the heat on that uh, drum otherwise it is it will affect the readings also i think you might remember uh, that your uh, faculty telling you to load uh, when you whenever you are doing load test for operating uh, for operating characteristic uh, the faculty will ask you to load at the higher higher uh, the highest loading first so that then you can reduce and your heating will not have much effect on the characteristics of the machine so this uh, all considered of the this all this uh, modern media for dissipation of heat is part of what the thermal circuit uh, you might be delighted to understand like uh, uh, consider a very high generator like let me say one at ramagundam power station uh, uh, you have a synchronous machine okay and there the field coils the field coils are uh, cooled using hydrogen cooling okay the the hydrogen at a very low temperature is put such hydrogen cooling is required to cool the field coils means what so in the in the synchronous machine so thermal circuits are very important when it comes to very high rating of machine so that we will uh, see uh, later in much uh, uh, in uh, in much detail and the last part is what the mechanical parts as i already said okay so this five parts are there in the machine one is the magnetic circuit another one is the electric circuit then the dielectric circuit thermal circuit and this mechanical parts so these all constitute a machine okay now if we come to the limitations of in design there are several limitations when it uh, when we practically uh, make these things so uh, there are several several limitations okay like uh, uh, so uh, in, uh, during uh, while studying design parts uh, one of my faculty used to say like if you have a transformer okay when uh, a power transformer need to be made the first thing they do is not mathematical calculations instead they go to uh, they will see where it need to be installed like let me say that it needs to be we have to install a transformer in our college okay in our college we have to install a transformer okay and before seeing anything the uh, we sh uh, we should be able to transport it to that location right we should be able to transport our transformer to what to our engineering college okay we we cannot uh, 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 so we we should we should we should have we will have constraints like whether it can a uh, transformer can go through let, let me say it have to be installed uh between our main block and the, uh, our computer science uh, or our computer science and ec block okay a, uh, our main block and the b block between that space we if we have to install uh, then the si the size of this transformer cannot be taller than uh, whatever uh, the the stairs that you use for uh, going from main block to b block right you use a stairs okay then the transformer has to go uh, uh, come through that area and it cannot be bigger than that whether your uh, size whether you you uh, your the ratings require more size still you have to decrease the height of the machine to be lesser than that so such considerations are much faster they then going to our technical solution so that that is the practical case and uh, in design uh, one concern is what the saturation saturation means the core saturation okay saturation means the core saturation okay means uh, you, as i said 1.6 tesla is the maximum a above that we cannot go so that's that uh, above that our your magnetic uh, material will go to saturation that uh, then it uh, we cannot use it for a machine right so that is one thing the core saturation is a problem then the temperature rise as i told you all earlier like inside a transformer that uh, the transformer life means transformer life means it is equal to the life of insulation it is equal to the life of insulation and whenever you are using it uh, uh, whenever you, your paper inside the transformer the paper insulation inside the transformer is at a higher temperature than it is rated for then what the aging will happen very fast and your that the overall transformer life is reducing 
okay so that is an important concern the temperature rise whenever your temperature rise increasing the temperature is increasing it affect the insulation mainly okay the conductor might not have much effect but on insulator it is having particular effect and it will get deteriorated and it will co- cause failure afterwards so that is about temperature rise and therefore that we should have proper cooling and third one is insulation so insulating materials also we can use a different uh, kind of insulating material and it is not the uh, okay time up we been samay gaynu athra athra ga samayam we been we been ajmele athra onne 20 onne 20 samay aile yes okay so we will continue in the next lecture okay, next class okay